Okay, now let's do 4b. Question 4b asks me to use the equation of, uh, use the equation here okay, to predict the number of female fatalities if in a year there was 55 males. Okay, so write down the equation. Okay. Step one, write down the equation. Okay. Female equals to 2.9557. I just write down the equation on the top. Okay. Plus 0 0.2516 male. Okay. Now, then we input the value in. So if the male is 55, so f equals to 2.9557 plus 0 0.2516 times 55. Okay, so if you type it this in your calculator, okay, you should get an answer. Your answer should be 16.7937. But remember, we round it up. Okay? We have more than 16 people died. We have more than 16 female died on that year, so it should be 17. Okay, so in this concept, so we should have uh, 17. Okay, now, and the question 4C is really interesting. Question 4-3, so sorry, 4 say, ask me to comment on the reliability of the prediction made in 4B. Okay. If I know there are 55 male drivers going to die, okay, how many females? Okay. Prediction will be 17. Okay. Now, the answer is this. The answer is, it's quite reliable. I believe it's quite reliable. Okay. Now, it is how many reliable? How reliable it is? It is basically thirty-five point four six percent reliable. It's all right. It's not. Uh, yep. The accuracy. Okay, so, um, so no, 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 no. It's, it's quite re reliable because the R, the R value is 0.595. Okay, just forget about the R square value now, just the R value. It's reliable, okay, because the R value is 0.5954, uh, actually, actually 5, 955. Okay, which is a moderate. Okay, it's a moderate um, strength. Okay, rely reliability. Ability. Okay, a moderate reliability. Okay, now the other thing it is more it is uh, reliable. It tells me the male is fifty five. The fatality of male is 55, which is interpol, uh, what do we call this? Interpolation. Okay. It's interpolation of the data. Means, okay, if we look at the data graph, okay, if we look at the data graph at the last page, okay, now, we use all those data. Okay, we use all those data to sketch a line somehow. Okay? And uh, we use that line to predict what's happen is if I have 55 miles down. Okay? Give me a prediction somehow. Okay? The, the 55 is within the range of the data. Okay? The smallest value of the data is 23 or 24. The biggest number of the data is 71. 
Okay, 55 is within this range, so I get a better accuracy. Okay, so when is when the value when the prediction value is within the range, we call it uh, interpolation. Okay, remember, please remember this. Okay, now you get one mark for mentioning R. You get another mark for mentioning the interpolation. Okay, now let's do question 4D. Now, we need to predict the number of male fatalities in Melbourne if the number of female fatalities reduce to 5 in a year. So, write down equation, we have 5 okay. uh, from the previous page. So, it's going to be 2.9557 okay, plus 0.2516 um, so if the female is going to be five, then we need to, this time we need to find sorry we need to find the male. Type this in your calculator. It is an equation. Okay. Now if you don't know how to rearrange the equation, go to your calculator. Okay. Use the solve function. Okay, it's an equation, so we go to action, and uh, actually algebra, solve. Okay, we type down this equation. 5 equals, actually, yep, 5 equals 2.9557 plus 0 0.2516 okay, times M, okay. and the comma M. Okay. The comma M part is telling the equation, uh, sorry, it's telling the calculator, I want to know, I, I give you an equation, I want to know what is M. Okay. Type it in, M is 8.1252. Uh, okay. So I write uh, this down. A point one two. Oh, sorry, I think I made the mistake. Uh, yeah, here. Um, it's a point one two, uh, five two. Okay. So remember, it's a rounded. It's a number. So we have to round it up. Okay. So in this case, we have more than eight people die. Now. So what I would do, I would run it up to nine. Okay, but sometimes uh, in the test, okay, the answer of this sec told me I should run it up to eight. Okay, so you need to check with your teachers whether which which answer. Uh, sh maybe I made a mistake. Maybe it should be eight all the way, but. Uh, check your check with your teacher. Okay. Now, then we go to question four E. Question four E is quite similar. Okay. It asks me to comment on the reliability of uh, question four D. Okay, two marks. Now, again. So, uh, what I say is, okay, uh, now, we can write down we can run down this. Have a look with this. The female fatality is five. So if we go to the next page, okay, now we say the lowest female fatality is actually around seven here, and uh, we try to predict what's happening if it's five. 
Okay, we expect it somewhere there. Okay, now the trouble with the female f equals to five is it's less than uh, the range of the female data given. Okay, so it's not interpolation; it is extrapolation. Okay, let's go back, write it down. So if you write down this, i f equals to five is exploration means it's not in the given data okay. so it is not reliable reliable as okay, 4b as the previous question okay. you get one mark for mentioning this and you get an other mark to stating that it's not reliable okay, as the previous one. Okay, you get two uh, two marks for this question. Okay. Because it's expo uh, expolation, so there's no point to mention the R value. Okay. Just remember we only mention we we mentioned the R value with with interpolation, expolation, uh, no, it's not. Okay, okay. Also, the last question for f. What we need to do is we need to, uh, sorry, okay. we need to sketch the line on it. Right. So we go to page thirteen. We try to sketch the line. Now, before I sketch the line, let's let me just erase my draft. Okay. Now let's write down the equation first. Okay. F equals to zero point. Sorry, made a mistake. Okay. Equals to two point nine five five seven plus. 0 0.2516 um, okay we need to write write down the equation and write down straight line now you can we can sketch it in graphic calculators okay, we can sketch it in graphic calculators um, but let me see if we have any easier ways to do it Okay. Okay. Also, the question says, I need to sketch the line using based on my calculation from 4B and 4D. Okay. Now, from 4B, it tells me when when M is 55, F is 17. So I go to last page. When M is 55, so that's 50, 55, uh, and uh, 17, okay, F is 17, so that's 20, 20, uh, 18, 16, 18, 16, 17 should be here, okay, just let me draw it, okay, now, from question 4, D. It tells me it's basically uh, when male is eight or is nine. I use nine, okay. and uh, the female is going to be five, so it's nine five. Okay. When the male is nine. Female is going to be five somewhere there. Okay. So I have two dot. Then what I need you guys to do is just to to scale, use a ruler. I always use a ruler to to connect these two points together. Okay, you get something like that. Then you get full marks. Okay. You get one mark for 
given these two points, okay, that you get get an other mark for drawing the straight line. Okay. The reason you have to write down the two points is only because uh, the question told you to do it. Okay. So, so two points from four B and four D.